Sugar baby, sugar baby. nice whip, nice crib. Nice I crib. want this, I want I that. Want he this. give it to me. Hey ladies, head sugar baby checking in. So today is day number one of me going to get my veneers. I leave in the morning at 3 a.m. Well, my flight isn't until 6 a.m., but I'm leaving around 3 a.m. That way I can get there on time. This is my first time actually flying by myself. So um, I don't want to be late for anything or things like that. I want everything to go smoothly, just like they've been going. So, um, yeah, honey, I'm just chilling right now. My closet is like I need to get a whole new wardrobe. I threw out so much stuff and gave so much stuff away. Mainly because, you know, I've gained a whole lot of weight. I'm not a size small anymore. I'm a medium. So, I've been doing a lot of shopping. I did my whole apartment and got all my furniture. Now, I'm about to get a whole new closet. But I was like, I'm going to wait till my surgery. Because I don't want to get a whole bunch of new clothes and not be able to fit them. So, I just got what I got, which is enough, honey. Look at my nail. Shout out. New nail tech. But other than that, honey, I'm just chilling. I'm about to roll me up a little joint chill for the night get ready to go to sleep wake up i was supposed to redo my eyelashes but i think they'll do for now i think when i get back i'll redo my eyelashes because they're okay they're not like too messed up they're all right they'll do for now but yeah honey i'll see y'all in the morning Good morning, everybody. So today is the big day. I am so excited. I fell asleep with all my chains on. I didn't even get any sleep, honestly. I went, tried to go to sleep around midnight. It's three. Oh, we're looking at my wrist. It is. It is. Well, it's 3.46, honey. And I feel completely rested. That's the weird thing. Like, I feel like I got a whole lot of sleep, which is the good part. I'm going to take my bonnet with me, so I'm going to go put this in my backpack so I don't forget it. Say good morning to Cairo. Say good morning to them, Papa. Say good morning to them. So him just woke up. Him sleepy. Y'all him getting so big. But him still... Him still sexy, though. Look, look at him. So cute. Him gonna make me lots of money one day. Him gonna make me lots of money. Lots of money. I decided when I get me a house, I'm gonna also rescue a few dogs because you can never have too many dogs. Alright, but I'm drinking my water. <clears throat> Got my water bottle to motivate, motivate me. Let's go. Keep going. Almost there. Getting close, you made it, refill. These would be on my fitness kits. I know y'all are like, girl, you've been talking about these fitness kits for like a month when they're going to drop. They were supposed to drop yesterday. The day before yesterday. But I was helping my dude with his car. And then I was getting ready for my flight. And today is the day I'm flying out. So I didn't get a chance to finish the fitness kits. But when I get back, that's my first responsibility is to get them done. I love having this in the bed with me. It's weird, but it's like a baby with the bottle. But like when I'm thirsty, because we all get thirsty when we're laying down. And you know, I could just throw this in my bed with me. Big, honey. Like I love how sturdy. It just feels like it costs money. Like this bottle feels expensive. But, um, sucks I can't take it to the airport with me, but, <clears throat> yeah, when I'm laying there, I'll just pop it open. And... Skin first. So, first thing I'm going to do, well, what I do when I wake up is get my skin together. So, let's get that done. Shout out to my background, my lights, my wall lights. I gotta finish this side. But... Of course, one of the first things I'm using on my face is my Poonani box stuff um this is my astringent that you're supposed to use before putting water on your face putting faucet water isn't always good for your pores and this here is filtered water witch hazel all you can go look at the ingredients i don't want to get too much into you know the whole put box stuff but 
everything in here is really good for your skin to start off with it's my astringent and so the first thing i do is i go in here wet my skin blue nanny box is sold out right now i will be restocking here very soon i just have been focusing on getting other things running in my boutique you know like my fitness kits my doll line my clothing line and things like that don't forget to go check out my she Baby ensembles but um yeah love these cookies really good for the morning too it's good for the soul You know, get up in there, honey. And you see I didn't wet my face one time. With any water. <sighs> my moisturizer is green. That's not green from coloring. But it has hemp seed oil in it. Grape seed oil, aloe vera, aloe vera, and some essential oils. Two different essential oils. It smells amazing. Great for the skin. Doesn't clog. Honey, do you see the skin? <laughs> Don't play with me. I just got out the shower, got to Lanka, walking my dogs right now. Ready to get out of here. Some new teeth, baby. <laughs> All right, so I just got my dog settled in, left my key and stuff for my neighbors to wash my dogs. Cute, honey, don't play with me. But yes, I'm right now going to my Lyft driver. He's waiting for me outside, then we're headed straight to the airport. I'm excited, I really can't wait. It's kind of unreal. Look at all my lipstick and my mask. <laughs> okay. yeah. Are you ready for your porcelain minis today? Yes, I am.
so I just got to the hotel. We had a little bit of issues at my first hotel. I didn't have my COVID papers, um, which is not a big deal. Thankfully, they have amazing customer service here. I definitely recommend Dr. Gonza Tabarez, honey, because he's gonna get you right. Not only your teeth, but he actually like cares about everything. Now, my teeth are not fixed right now. As you can see, they are shaved down. They look different from earlier, just they're shaved down. So basically what happened was, I'm gonna tell y'all what I eat, cause honey, I'm hungry. Uh, I'm gonna insert a little clip of the food that I'm eating. It's still the same food from earlier, but I haven't had time to do anything. Like, I woke up, went to the airport, got on a flight to Fort Lauderdale, Landed in Fort Lauderdale, literally right after I got off the plane, I had, thankfully, my terminal was right across from where I exited. Well, right across from where I got off my plane for Fort Lauderdale, literally my gate was right there. And so I walked over there and checked in, only got 30 minutes till the flight leaves. So hopped on that flight. I'm not complaining. I'm just letting y'all know how my day went. Um, hopped on that flight to Cali, Colombia, got here. Eight, the drivers are awesome. I love both of my drivers. I feel kind of bad because I didn't have any cash to tip anybody. And so I don't even know if anybody made their money or what, because I don't have no cash. All I have is my card. But tomorrow I'm gonna make sure that the drivers got, you know, a tip or something, because they were both very helpful, helpful to me. Got off the plane, went to get something to eat, love my drivers, went from there straight to the appointment. There was like four other girls there, five other girls there. I'm not really sure. We were all there for the same thing, which is really cool. Because, honey, there's a lot of girls out here that got money. That's awesome. Keep my wife. But, yeah, and literally, I just got done. They shaved my, te my teeth down, cleaned them up and stuff like that. I could have already had my teeth done. Um, but he asked me, he said, you know, now that I see you in front of me, I was wondering if you would like to go for 100% porcelain teeth. And it was just nineteen, two thousand dollars $2,000 more, which, why would I not do that? The teeth that he was gonna give us were good, but um, they last about seven to 10 years and the color can change. Porcelain teeth, we all know are really expensive. It's basically like elephant tusks and it lasts for 15 to 20 years. Color will not change. And I've always heard about porcelain teeth. And so I was like, yeah, if I'm gonna get my teeth, I might as well get the best. So um, the process for the porcelain, 100% porcelain teeth is different. You know, they have to shave your teeth down and all type of stuff. You don't just get, I don't just get, you know, I don't know if you've seen somebody get their veneers done, but basically they just coat over and place the teeth, the, the, basically like a fill. It's basically like fill, but they're putting it over your entire teeth. Now for the porcelain, I had to get a mold done. It's a mold and it's actual teeth like that are you know already hard and they're gonna be placing them. He's gonna be bringing up my gum line. He's gonna laser it up and then make my teeth just a little bit longer because my teeth are really small. And um, I'm really excited. I, I feel bad because I wasn't trying to be a bitch, but when we got to my last hotel, I had to have COVID papers to check in and nobody told me that. Um, I did a migration stuff. I did that in my passport. And I mean, I've already had my passport, but nobody told me anything about that. So after we got the sh my teeth, you know, shaved up and ready for the morning, got to the hotel. They weren't letting me check in because he got me into a new hotel. They weren't tripping. I'm here now. Smells really good. It's really clean. It's in a nice area. I love the Colombian culture honey they are so athletic and just so active out here all you see is people playing soccer people rollerblading people riding bikes people riding scooters people walking people doing stuff like i would really love to come out here and you know take all the golds off dress down and just walk around the city like they wouldn't even know because i could blend in like i think any anybody could blend in here there's all different types of walks of life just like in america you know all different skin colors and things like that same thing out here you see white 
Colombians and dark skinned Colombians. And it's just a beautiful culture. Like I'm so happy I can't have the opportunity to come out here. And I'm more happy that I have the opportunity and the money to be able to get work done by an amazing doctor out here. His whole entire team is really amazing. Like they had like eight people I feel like on me, you know, everybody was doing something. And so that was really, really cool. I gotta be up by 6.30, so I'm gonna go to sleep here in a minute. My food is not even hot. My food is like lukewarm. There's not a microwave in here. I'm not tripping at all, but I'm not about to walk downstairs because I'm just so tired. Their beans are so good. It doesn't make no sense. I believe this is plantain. I only brought one outfit to change into, but I brought a whole bunch of panties and socks. I honestly didn't expect to. I wasn't expecting to, you know, get 100% porcelain teeth, baby. I'm so excited. All right, y'all. So before I go to sleep, I'm going to show y'all around the room. It's just like a regular hotel room. Nothing too, um, you know, fancy. Bed. Very comfortable. It smells really good in here. And this is the restroom. Cute. I'm gonna take a shower here in a minute. And then outside. I love the way they have everything just like set up. But yeah. I'm so exhausted. I already told y'all I'm on it. And I'm so excited to wake up in the morning. It's really surreal. Like, I still can't believe that I'm about to get my teeth fixed. Like, they even fixed my cavities and all that. Like, he, the dentist already went in there, filled in my cavities and cleaned them out, drilled them, cleaned them out, filled them in. That way, when they go in tomorrow, all they gotta do is put my teeth on tomorrow. And I'm so excited. Like, I cannot believe this, honey. Can't get over my nails either. Don't ask me why. I just never had nails like this before. Not like pointy like this. And I was like, girl, hook a sister up. And she did. But I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night. All right, y'all, so I just woke up not too long ago. Sitting here waiting for my ride. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and get my baby. talking a little funny because I got to get used to my new teeth 
but I just got home not too long ago and I'm not gonna lie I'm kind of tired I just got done doing my lashes I do my own lashes now I don't like when people do my lashes because they don't ever do them right or ever do them how I really want them to be done so I'm getting used to my teeth when I first got them, I was like, well, hold on, honey. These is too much, too much. Like, I'm not used to this. So, but I'm getting used to it. I'm kind of like, I'm lisping right now because I have to get, you know, you know, honey, how it goes. But um, as time goes by, I'll start talk talking normal and, you know, not lisping and stuff. And I'll be able to eat normally. But it's my first day back. So I'm not really like tripping too hard. I absolutely love them. Um, I thought they were too big, but now that I'm looking at them, like, it's actually kind of perfect. They're porcelain 100%. You can get either porcelain or resin. Um, it's like 80% porcelain, the rest is resin or whatever. I got a 100% porcelain. I was like, for 1900 extra, why not go all the way? But definitely, I'm going to go back next year um, just to get a checkup. Um, you know, just keep them nice. I'm gonna go back next year so he can, you know, keep my smile looking good. I love him and his team. Everyone was really dope. But, um, I didn't even clean up. My house isn't too messy. I cleaned up before I left. I was gonna start cleaning up, but I, I was like, honey, if I start, if I start cleaning up now, tomorrow in the morning, I'm gonna be tired. So, let me go ahead and get some sleep, and I'll deal with this stuff in the morning. Good morning! <laughs> All right, y'all, so before I close out this vlog, I'm gonna do a little sit down with y'all. So I had a few questions that were asked to me on my Instagram and just on my YouTube in the comments. So I wanted to go ahead and get more into my veneer procedure. Okay, so first off, one of the first questions that was asked to me is, are my teeth sensitive? My teeth are not sensitive. I have 100% porcelain, which is the best that you can get. You can get resin or you can get porcelain. I decided to go with 100% porcelain, which is my why my procedure was a little bit more expensive, but they are not sensitive. Yes, I'm still getting used to eating because these teeth are a few millimeters bigger than what my natural teeth are. So naturally it feels like I have braces and you know, it feels like as if, you know, what braces would feel like. So I'm still getting used to them, but nothing is sensitive. When I was there, yes, they had to shave down my teeth. When you get porcelain, you get your teeth shaved down. If you get resin, you don't. I got porcelain, so they shaved them down. They didn't shave my teeth all the way down to little stubbles. They just shaved around them so that way that they could put the veneers on. Of course, I had anesthesia, so it was not, it didn't hurt or anything like that. And the doctors were all very gentle. So the procedure was not as bad as you would think and it was very easy. The next question that I get asked is how much was my procedure? Everybody's procedure is different. It could range from a thousand all the way up to $18,000 depending on who does it and where you go and what you're getting done. I know people that went to Columbia that only spent 1,700 and for me, I spent 7,000. Um, of course, I know um, one girl there that she only spent 4,000. Everyone has different teeth, different mounts, so your prices are gonna be different. 7,000 converts into 18,000 Colombian money, pretty much somewhere around there. So I paid 7,000 for mine. Next question is what kickstarted your hustle? I support you. Thank you so much for supporting me. Thank you for everyone who does support me. What kickstarted my hustle was I was working a nine to five. I wanted more out of life. I wanted more money. So I went out there and got it. I have a vlog, it's called How I Became a Sugar Baby. You can definitely go check that out if you want me to get more detailed into that topic. What's your best advice to anyone who hates on being a sugar baby? Us as women have to understand being a sugar baby is not all about having sex. Being a sugar baby is about being spoiled, holding yourself at a certain standard, the way you move, the way you handle situations as far as dating goes. It's luxury dating. It's not what you do, it's how you do it. The best advice I have is a lot of girls that judge sugar babies have sex, but they have sex for free. And more than likely, they go every day, day in and day out, needing something. But me as a sugar baby, I'm not in need for anything. I'm not giving men my time for free. You know, having morals and values and respecting yourself doesn't mean give yourself away for free. You have a price on yourself and you add tax. So I don't ever get anybody who thinks a sugar baby is degrading herself when the next girl is doing the same thing, but she's not getting anything, nothing. I know so many girls that be having sex, 
and don't have a car, don't have no money, don't have nothing going on. So before you judge a sugar baby, look at your life and what is a, what has come of your life after you've dealt with the men that you've dealt with. You're still nothing. After all those bodies you caught, you still ain't shit. So don't judge a sugar baby who's making herself into somebody and not just dealing with anyone just because they call her beautiful. You feel me? Next question is, when will you have a sushi mukbang? I don't know. Next question is, how did you start off as a sugar baby? How did you get to where you are today? Again, check out my How I Became a Sugar Baby vlog. Next question is, did you have slash see only one sugar daddy at a time or see more than one? Well, come on now. If you're just wanting to have one sugar daddy at a time, I definitely wish you luck. If you're thinking you're going to make thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 a month off one sugar daddy, I wish you luck. Um, things like that happen, you know, don't happen every day. You get lucky. So I got where I'm at now for hustling. I don't depend on one person. Um, next question is, how much did you earn a month from your sugar daddy? Um... I made about $30,000 a month. Again, I was hustling. I wasn't depending on one person. Next question is, are you still with your boyfriend? The fact that that's on your mind and you're even wondering that just goes to show like where you're at in life. If you're worried about who somebody's fucking or who somebody's dealing with and that's all you're worried about, something you definitely need to reevaluate your life. Um, me and mine are fine. I don't have boyfriends. I have men. Next question is, what's your favorite thing to do? get money next question is what's your favorite color my favorite color is gold i love gold red and olive green those are my favorite colors next question is when do you plan on retiring from all of your businesses i'm 26 right now so maybe when i'm 50 years old it's the craziest thing you've done I blackmailed a millionaire one time and I got my money. I was like 23 years old. I really need some money and I don't recommend doing that, but that's the craziest thing that I've done. I definitely re regret it um, only because I could have got more out of him for just being his friend rather than, you know, blackmailing him. But um, that's the craziest thing I've done. That is all the questions um, that was asked to me on my Instagram. Um, so I hope I was informative as far as, you know, getting veneers goes. And, you know, um, I definitely recommend it for those who are insecure about their teeth. Now, I got my veneers for myself. I didn't get my veneers for anybody else. I didn't like my teeth, so I decided to get them done. I already know people who are broke are going to have something to say. Most people who don't have money are always going to talk about people who have money and go get procedures done. So if you have anything to say about me negative getting my teeth done, just go ahead and be prepared to be talking to yourself um, because I will not feed into any negative comments. I don't have time. I'm I'm a whole I'm on a whole different level as far as um getting money goes and i really don't even have time to pay attention or feed into the negative comments when it comes to that stuff you know because everybody's gonna have something to say um and you know just like with my picture i posted i had put um these bitches wish but they could never and somebody actually got offended it's, i've only saw one person like nobody has said anything negative except this one girl and i'll even post her comment right here because it like just goes to show what I, these bitches wish but they could never my comment was directed towards girls like this you feel me um the fact that you call yourself supporting me clearly because you're subscribed to my channel which is why you saw my picture and then you have the nerve to get offended and like that that you're i'm talking to you that comment wasn't to my supporters it was to haters and she is a prime example of a mad jealous hate asshole. you feel me when i say anything as far as me being bossy i am directing my energy towards hate ass people so if you get offended with me upgrading myself and me leveling up, that just goes to show how mad you are inside. I don't ever want anybody to think that I'm out here doing anything to myself for other people. Anything I do or get done is for myself. If you don't like it, fix it. And if you don't have money to fix it, save up so you can fix it. That way you don't have to be jealous about seeing somebody else level their life up. That's absolutely unnecessary. And as much as y'all say uplift black women, I don't even understand why it's me getting my teeth done would make anybody mad. That's just like, it's very lame. It's pitiful. Um, it's very pathetic. 
of anybody to get mad at me for getting my teeth done. And then, you know, I also know girls will say, well, your gaps were your signature, things like that. No, honey, I'm my signature. Malaysia is my signature. Me is my signature. My teeth don't define me. I define myself. With that being said, if you don't like something, go and fix it. If you want to get something done, go get it done. Don't let the next person stop you from achieving the perfection that you want to achieve with your physical body. Me, I want to be the most perfect version of myself that I can be. So I strive for perfection. And I don't strive for it for anybody else but myself. And I want the girls who look up to me to know that if they don't like something about themselves, work hard towards it so that way you can fix it. If you sit and shit long enough, it's not going to stink. You feel me? So how are you going to get up out that shit? You feel me? You got to fix it. You got to do something about it. I hope my journey to upgrading my life and leveling up definitely inspires a lot of you women. Um... I wish all of you the best. I'm gonna keep on getting to it. I'm gonna keep leveling my life up. I'm still gonna be here for those who are you know, on their sugar baby journey and things like that. I am not a sugar baby anymore. I haven't been one for a long time, but um, I definitely have all the game that any sugar baby needs. So if you have any questions or you want to know how to do it or things like that, of course, I do not give away any free game. If you want any of my game, go sign up for one of my coaching classes, which is just $49.99, or you can order one of my two books. I have a 10 steps to becoming a sugar baby and my sugar baby guide. Definitely before you buy my books, read the description. That way you know which book you are getting. I also wanna give a big shout out to Amanis Creed. She is a dream interpreter. She reached out to me and provided me with her services and she deciphered one of my dreams to a T. We all have dreams and sometimes we cannot understand these dreams. They're weird, we don't know what's going on, why this happened, why am I dreaming about this? Sometimes we need a more in-depth description and more. Uh, we need somebody that has basically a third eye and can help you decipher that dream into what it actually meant. She has a great third eye, she has amazing intuition, and this is also a Black-owned business that you can go check out if you're wanting more of an insight to things going on in your personal life. I would definitely recommend reaching out to her. I'll provide her link, pictures of her, that way you can get more of an idea of what she will provide for you. She's an amazing queen, go check her out. Let her know that Malaysia sent you and she may let you know, give you a little discount. So yeah, go check that out. Now remember, go get that money, scared feet don't eat, and a closed mouth don't get fed. Mwah. Bitch!